We know libraries are full of books about history and what the world was like many years ago. But would you believe this conservation park is also a library? In fact, it's a living library that can tell us more about our history than you may think. And the best thing about this library is... You don't need to whisper! Hi, I'm Tom, a geologist at the University of South Australia. And today, I'm going to tell you about why these rocks from our past have many stories to tell. For thousands of years, Aboriginal tribes used to call this stretch of Australia's coastline home. But in 1976, when modern society had started to move in, scientists realised this area, and particularly its rocks, could unlock many secrets about our past. So it was declared a conservation park. And today, Hallett Cove is known all around the world as a living museum. The biggest source of this area's history are these rocks. Inside, there's plenty of hidden tales about what life was like years ago. This landmark is known as the Sugarloaf. It's the result of thousands of years of Mother Nature eroding away the materials surrounding it. Wind and rain have changed the landscape, leaving a thick layer of sand that's capped by a thin layer of clay. Embedded in the Sugarloaf are some unusual rocks that tell us about a time when the area experienced a very different environment to what we see today. These rocks contain an amazing history about Australia's very own Ice Age, dating as far back as 280 million years ago. If you look closely at this rock, you can see that compared to others around here, it's quite different. It looks out of place. These rocks are what we call erratics. They travelled many kilometres, but weren't carried by wind or water. The rocks were shifted by ice. From this erratic rock, we can learn of a time when the area was covered by a glacier that dropped large boulders into a deep lake as it melted away. The ice sheet formed near the South Pole and covered a vast area, an ancient continent known as Gondwana. But if you're still not convinced, here's more proof. Down here on the beach, we have more erratics, some that can be traced to granite outcrops over 60 kilometres away along the southern coast of Australia's mainland. These boulders were carved by the glacier and transported while locked up in ice. The glacier was a very effective earth mover. This smooth pavement is just another example of what Australia's Ice Age left behind. It was discovered by a geologist back in 1875 and is one of the most important reasons this area was declared a conservation park. The pavement was created when a glacier slowly moved over the surface, polishing the rock beneath as it moved. The deep scratches you can see here were made by rocks that were embedded in ice as it travelled through. So the glacier really polished and ruined the rock face all at the same time. But other rocks tell a story about a very different climate where conditions were much warmer. This period of Earth's history has been trapped in time, right here. This thin layer of rock contains thousands of shelly fossils. It tells us about creatures that once lived in a warm, shallow sea. Many were just like snails, only they lived about three million years ago. So as you can see, there's more to this park than meets the eye, and plenty of tales about our past still waiting to be unearthed.